Hi, if you're like me, you are using an MBOT from MakeBlock and you had the joy of putting it together with your kid and you maybe even connected it to computer and programmed it. And now your kid's saying, hey, I just want to use the remote control and it won't work. And no matter what you try, you can't get it to work. And you go online and you search for videos and user groups and the videos all say, oh, well, push this direction to make it go forward this to turn it self-explanatory kind of things <laughs> and if you weren't frustrated enough because you can't figure out how the heck to get this thing to work with remote control which is supposed to do outside the box and the videos aren't really helping either well i was at my wits end and finally after just troubleshooting simple trial and error trial and error trial and error and a few headaches and a very impatient kid wanting to play with the robot that he built i figured out that if you have hooked this up to your computer and done some programming through your computer, even if it was simply to tell it to go forward, more than likely, if you're having the remote control problem, you updated the firmware when you installed your software in your computer. And so in order to get this to work, you actually have to uninstall the new firmware and replace it with the factory firmware that came with it when it was originally put in the box. So let me show you what I did in order to fix it so your kid can use the remote again. So open up your software and go ahead and and go ahead and connect the USB cable and you'll probably hear it go ding or whatever it does and then for some reason this never remembers that I'm doing an MBOT and so we want to connect the device. I'm using COM5 because the Bluetooth is really tough to connect. Okay, now see it says update. And I already did this, but I'm clicking update firmware. And you do not want this. What you want is factory firmware. And then update it. And then it's done. And so I'm going to now turn it off, unplug the USB cable, turn it back on. And now the remote control works. So I hope you found this helpful. Most of my videos are private or unlisted so people can't find them. But I'm hoping that this is helpful. If you found it helpful, please like it or put a comment so it'll show up in search results so that people can find something that will help them find this. Because at least when I was searching for YouTube videos, none really solved this particular problem. So thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you. And if it didn't, I wish you the best of luck in figuring out how to get your little thing to work. Okay, have a great day.